Merry Christmas Eve, Husker Meat Fluencer followers. We're uh, doing a few cooks for the holiday season, but the first one up on the uh, on the rack is a uh, buffalo beef, buffalo beef, buffalo brisket. Um, let me turn the camera around and show you what we got going. All right, so this is a pretty decent, about a 14 and a half pound buffalo brisket from Nebraska Bison. Thank you, Nebraska Bison, for being a sponsor of Husker Meat Fluencer. So buffalo bison is obviously very similar to beef, but you have to know a few things specifically about a brisket. Um, when you're doing a beef brisket, you obviously have the flat and the point, which you do on a buffalo too. So you got your flat and your point up here, the thicker part, but the connective tissue in buffalo, it's, a li it's leaner, so it's gonna take a lot longer to cook. So this is a commitment. So this is for Christmas um, night. It's Christmas Eve morning. So what I'm starting to do now is I'm gonna put down a layer of salt, some pepper, some garlic, using a mustard binder. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of hardcore carnivore on top of both sides. So the fat's very thin on a buffalo brisket. So I like to season this for at least, this is gonna get about 17 hours of seasoning before I throw it on the smoker tonight around midnight. And it's a commitment. So you've got about a 16 to 20 hour cook ahead of us. Um, so this stuff all breaks down and you still want that tender, juicy meat. It's just, you have to do it a little longer. I will smoke it fat side down. So once I put the seasoning on, we'll flip it over and do it like that. Put it back in the refrigerator and let the salt penetrate um, and give the seasoning an opportunity to get in there. And then there's this chunk right here that I am gonna carve out. I just felt that with my thumb. That's, that's not gonna render. Um, but then after, it's seasoned, we'll throw it on cold. When you throw something meat on the smoker, when you throw it on cold, it helps get the nice smoke ring. So we're gonna get this up to about 140 internal, 150 internal, and then wrap it. So the main difference I want you guys to know about doing a, a buffalo brisket is it requires more time wrapped. So it'll steam and it'll help actually get that, that tender piece that you want and you get the flop and it's juicy. So we'll keep you updated, but that's what we're doing. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the back side. So this is how it's gonna smoke this side up. So you can see not a lot of fat on these buffaloes. Um, and the seasoning that I'm doing with the mustard binder, salt, pepper, garlic, and hardcore, you can really do whatever you want. I'm kind of a fan of the Texas style. So sometimes just salt and pepper, so you can really taste it. But I like to do the, some of the garlic. And on buffalo, since it is a little bit more leaner, uh, I also like that hardcore carnivore, which is awesome. Thank you guys for being a sponsor. Um, get the link in my bio, Hardcore Carnivore is a great season. It's charcoal activated, so it's going to give it that nice black outside co color and crust. I'll show you what it looks like here when I put it on this side. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Got that good hardcore, so it's going to get nice and, and dark and a nice crunch. Also, um, as you can notice, I'm doing this on a, a tray so there can get some air underneath it. So this is going to go in the refrigerator for roughly... 14 hours, 14 and a half hours, and then I'll drop it on tonight at midnight before I go to bed, and uh, we'll keep you updated as the cook goes. Uh, flat, fast forward to tomorrow, um, thanks to Snake River Farms out of Texas uh, for being a sponsor of Husker Meat Fluencer, we're gonna do a Wagyu, American Wagyu prime rib. So uh, we'll do that one in tandem with this one. So talk to you tomorrow. All right, good morning, guys. It is early on Christmas morning. It's about 6 a.m. Uh, the brisket has been on for about seven hours. I got it to internal of 160. Uh, let me turn the camera around. So that's what the color looks like. Dark, crusty deliciousness. There's the temp spike right in the middle, tempspike.com. Now it's time to wrap it. The thing with the brisket, it needs to be wrapped longer than a beef. A buffalo brisket needs to be wrapped longer than a beef one. So. Same rules apply, put down a layer of moisture. I'm using beef stock today. And then I'm gonna coat the thing in this wonderful beef tallow from Chicago, Illinois, um, from South uh, South Chicago Packing. Thanks for being a sponsor of Husker Meat Fluencer. It's a fantastic Wagyu beef tallow. I'm gonna wrap it up tight, double layers here, two different things of, of paper, wrap it up tight and put it back on until it gets an internal of somewhere around 205 to 210. And that's going to take some time. So we'll see you a little bit later today. Merry Christmas. Okay, we're back with a special two-in-one Christmas edition of Husker Meat Fluencer. And I have a guest meat fluencer with me all the way from Largo, Florida. 
So let me turn the camera around and show you this. This, my friends, is an American Texas Wagyu boneless prime rib. I want to thank Snake River Farms for being a sponsor of Husker Meat Fluencer. They sent me this seven pound boneless Wagyu prime rib for Christmas dinner. Look at the marbling. We've seasoned it lightly. This Wagyu will hold its own, so you do, want, do not over season Wagyu. If you're gonna spend the money and buy it, or start a blog and get them to send you free meat. Either way, you don't want to over-season Wagyu. It's going to be, the flavor is going to be on its own. So I just put some celery on the bottom to keep some air going underneath it. When we're going to roast this in the oven, not the smoker today. I've got that buffalo brisket going out there. Um, so I put some celery down here. You can put onions, carrots, whatever you want. I just wanted to get that up a little bit. And then I have a little herb garden, as you all know. So we pluck some rosemary and thyme. A little bit of olive oil as a binder. A little bit of Montreal is what we're going with today, but we're going to go in light. And then we're going to give it a, a base of some pink Himalayan salt. So just lightly season, though, and we'll show you how it comes out. Hey, guys, before I forget, this is what it looks like when it goes in. But it is pretty early still here, Christmas morning. Uh, and we're going to use this for kind of a lunch time. And it'll be roughly three-hour cook with this size but um really important when you do roast whether it's wagyu or just regular you know choice rib roast from the grocery store get it to room temperature don't you know put it into the oven cold that's where you get that gray color in prime rib when you put it into cold and it doesn't cook evenly um, so get that thing resting i'm going to have this out for a minimum of two to two and a half hours today before i put it in Maybe go even closer to three. So you want it as room temperature as you can get, um, and that'll help give you that uh, that cut coloring that you look in a medium rare throughout with none of that gray line that you'll see in sometimes uh, either in restaurants, see them when you do them at home. So that's a tip, and we'll show you how it comes out. All right, let's see where we are. We're about 198 internal. We're getting close. Been on there. Now it's going to 12 hours into the cook. I did put a pan underneath it because I wanted to capture all of that juice. So we'll see how it's going. Okay, so bonus edition here of Husker Meat Fluencer. I didn't show you putting it in, but it's been in now. Um, it's got about 15 minutes left. So what we did with the cook with it for this one, uh, thank shout out to Rosie, Mama Klein Schmidt for her recipe. We preheated the oven to 500. It's five minutes per pound. So this was a seven and a half pound roast. So it's 37 minutes, 30 seconds. Once that's up, we're gonna shut it off and not open the door for two hours. I have no temp spike in it, no meter probe. We are trusting the cook. And when it comes out in about two hours and 10 minutes, we're gonna let it rest on the counter for about 20 to 30. And then hopefully uh, we'll show you what that looks like. Well, not hopefully, we will show you what it looks like. If it's good, bad, but you know me, um, we're going to show it out uh, what it looks like. Enjoy your Christmas. We're having a ball here at the Kleinschmidt household and we'll be back. Okay. We pulled it. We got to 205 internal. We pulled it off the, the pit boss. And as you all know, here we use Cambro. Thank you for being a sponsor of the Husker meat Florencer. Go get yourself some Cambro this holiday season. And we're going to put this bad boy to bed. You can see some of the towels leaking out, which is why I put that pan in there. We're going to use that as cover, juice cover when we slice into it. When you do briskets, I always like to let them rest a minimum of two hours, but you can't go wrong letting them go three or four. The Cambro is going to continue to cook a little bit in there. It's 205, which is perfect. We're going to put it night night. We'll show you how it looks like, see if we get the, the juice. See you in a little bit. All right, we are back. Double bonus feature here. Merry Christmas, Husker Meat Fluencer. This is our finished Wagyu boneless prime rib. So let's pull it out. It sat in the oven for 37 and a half minutes at 500. We then shut the oven off and we let it rest for two hours in the oven and then we let it rest for about another 40 minutes. We have twine on here, some butcher's twine. Thank you for, oh, now what's the name of the market that gave me the vine? I can't, uh, Darren's Market, what's it called? Does anybody remember? Because this Johnson's is Market. Johnson's Market. Thank you, Johnson's Market, for being a sponsor of Husker Meat Fluencer and providing the twine. Now, this roast, as I mentioned before, came from Snake River Farms out in Texas. 
This is American Wagyu. It's produced right there in Snake River Farms, butchered right there on Snake River Farms, and then shipped to us. What we're looking for here is obviously that medium rare temperature, and I just made a mess, but that's all right. It's, we're out live. Go ahead and stop that for a second. All right, and we're back. This is the first cut. We're gonna go right in the middle. And we're gonna see. It feels rare to me, guys, but we're gonna see. How did we do? Oh my God, Becky. Look at that, look at that medium rare from end to end. We're gonna carve it up. It's gonna be delicious. Merry Christmas, y'all. We'll show you how the buffalo brisket does when we carve that up in a couple hours. Oh. All right, Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for following the page. This is our buffalo brisket. We wrapped it. It's been in the Cambro. Thank you, Cambro.com, for being a sponsor of Husker Meat Fluencer. Go, guys, get yourself a Cambro. They're amazing. So now here is the moment of truth. We got our butcher paper. It looks moist. It looks soaked. We're making a mess at our friend's kitchen. So if you have the opportunity to bring your meat to your friend's house and make a mess, that's better. That way you don't have to clean it up. So we're gonna pull it out here, we're gonna carve it up. What we're looking for is we want a flop, guys. See the flop? You want a little bit of move in that. So, so far, so good. Let me move the butcher paper out of here. And as you all know from following me, and thank you guys for following me, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna go right through the middle. And what we want is we wanna see a smoke ring and we wanna see the squeeze. Do we get the squeeze? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have the squeeze. We got the juice. Look at the smoke ring. We got the, the tenderness. Now you guys know, first bite rule, so here we go. Did we have a very Merry Christmas? Let's see. Oh, that's money, folks. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Buy all my products. Go to link in my bio. Thank you for Snake River Farms for providing the prime rib, which was awesome. And thank you for Nebraska Bison for providing the buffalo brisket. Merry Christmas. We'll see you in 24. Meatfluencer out.